We are starting completely blank. I have nothing prepared. I have a little counter here at stopwatch. Here we go. Okay, that is gonna be looming down here. Wasting time on the stopwatch. Okay, men's shirt. We're looking for high sell through and or good money. And I don't even have that um, good of an internet connection here. Pre-owned condition, all of it also. Let's do pre-owned. Man, I am just lightning fast here. And we're gonna sort solds. And this is brands that I'm not familiar with personally. We're gonna do this middle price bracket and we're just, what is this, ended recently. IT chapter two, what is that? 315. Oh, it's it. Okay. That is not going to count. All right. That's a good item, but I'm not counting that. Kahala, I know. Or Ralph Lauren Turner. These are good brands. Look, Ruka, still selling. Dries Van Noten. I vaguely recognize that as like a luxury brand but I don't think it's in the manifesto. 267, 52, look at these prices. I'm gonna play nice, I'm not gonna count it. Legoland button up, 45 to 86, button shirt. It's not that good. Here's a good tip from researching the manifesto. When you're doing this product research, have it on the sold page and then you can toggle it off and then um, go back. So it keeps on the sold listing page. You can keep toggling it on and off because when you search now like Polo Ralph shirt, it'll show you the solds. Otherwise you would have to go back and scroll down and hit the sold listings button. Wasting time by being helpful. Malco Modes, what is that? Ugh. Fresh produce, I know. It's a men's shirt? I didn't know they did men's. No, that's not a men's shirt. The Fool? Let's go to the higher price bracket. Let's do a minimum 40 bucks. Poncho. That is gonna be one of those hellish things to search. I think that might have snuck into the manifesto. I'm not sure. Sometimes they don't put brand in this menu. Some searches they do, some it's not there. It's very, very, very frustrating for doing the manifesto. Uh, this is looking good. 429.72. Poncho. Is it in the manifesto? No, it is not. So this is my um, pay what you want product. It's 401 men's clothing brands. Just pay what you want. You can download it for free if you um, wanna just stick a big, a big scimitar on my back and torque it around. Or you can give me, you know, whatever you think it's worth. There's a link in the description there. Okay, Poncho, brand number one, we got it. That took us six and a half minutes. You know, not terribly bad. Now, every time you run into Poncho, that six minutes will pay off. The point of this video is if you don't know these brands, you can just do this and then you just have this knowledge, especially if you write it down somewhere. And there's stuff, as I'm demonstrating here, that's not in the manifesto, so maybe you can find a brand that nobody else knows about, and then you find it, and then you make money. Malia. Mm. Kane Malia. Uh, nope. Flint and Tender, that's in the manifesto. JD, what the hell is that? Come on. Nope. California Cowboy. I've seen this brand before. Mm, this is not bad. Well, it's all polluted up. Let's see if they let us search brand. There it is. And it's not one of the options. California. All right, it's just maybe that might be a good brand. That could be number two. I'm not sure. Feature Sinners Club. 
whatever, some obscure streetwear thing. Western Plains. This is not bad. It's not great. It's a cool shirt. I mean, if you find something like that, then yeah, grab that. Rare Imogene. Ah, here's one. Some little boutique thing. Men's clothing. Um, Pre-owned. 239. Two, 121. Hey, we got it. Yeah, one of these little, looks like a smart casual or denim company. Streetwear-ish. Imogene and Willie. All right, 11 minutes. So we're averaging like five, six minutes per brand. It's really not bad. Tellison. Hey, just like that. Baby, baby, baby. Baby girl, baby boy. 133, 141. Mwah, bellissima. That took less than a minute. Tellison. Brand number three. There's so many of these brands just waiting to be found. Tom Below. Oh, come on. No way. Three in a row? All right, so 38 pre-owns, active, to nine solds. Wow, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's look at the tag so we know. Yeah, that just looks like money. Look at that. Who wouldn't pick that up? Now watch number five take uh, another hour. Thomas K. It's a Pendleton thing. Interesting. Never seen that before. Not counting it. It also doesn't qualify. Margaret Howell. Spendy stuff. I mean, we said it would, you know, it would count if it was just expensive stuff. Kind of wanting to find another, another one of these, you know, the high seltzer brand. It's good money. I would buy that if I found it. Margaret Howell. Let's keep pushing. I may have cursed us with my little joke about it taking another hour. I'm gonna go to jeans. I'm gonna do one more page of shirts, and then we can flip to jeans. Benetton Formula One. It's like one of old Teja. Ah, this is gonna be it. Tejas, I can feel it. Nope, no I can't. I've sold this exact shirt before. Mo Betta, the Garth Brooks line, this exact same shirt. It was like three years ago. Beams from Japan. Mm. I would pick this up, look at the, look at the prices. But we're going for high sell through. We made a solemn vow. Not a chance I'm trying to search that brand. These brands get so punitive with resellers like Lululemon and um, Viore. If you want nobody to be able to resell your stuff used, just name your, name your brand Cotton Shirt or something. Buzz Rickson. That sounds expensive. Buzz Rickson's. Huh, another one that's really expensive. You know, these are good to know as well. The sell-through is low. This is true of a lot of these really, really pricey brands like luxury brands and stuff. It'll be way, way, way more active than sold. It's one circumstance where sell-through is not the most important thing when there's that much money on the line. Barina Venezia. Barina Venezia. Hmm, that's promising. Sell-through is not quite there. That's a solid brand though. I mean, look at these numbers. So many brands like this that are just, sell-through is so-so, prices are decent. All right, man of my word, we'll do jeans. We will bump this price bracket up to 60 bucks. Brave Start, Brave Star, look, he mispronounced it. Mispronounced it? 
it is 11.44 at night. Star. And we're done. Brave Star, salvage jeans, good prices. About 20 minutes to find five brands. That breaks down to four minutes per brand. Once again, the uh, point that I'm trying to illustrate here is that you don't need to be reliant upon me or upon anybody uh, to find these brands. And the way selective focus works in the mind, in, in your mind, is if you don't know to look for certain things, your brain filters them out. So we've all had the experience of you learn a new word and then suddenly you hear the word everywhere or you learn about a brand on a video like this and you go out the same day or the next day and then you find it all of a sudden as if by magic. You were probably seeing it before but your selective focus was not filtering for it. So the more of these key phrases of uh, brand names and what the tags look like as you can imprint into yourself, um, the easier it will be to notice it when uh, when you're outsourcing and it'll pop out at you. And you might not recognize it immediately like you saw with me a couple times. I was like, do I, I recognize this brand? Maybe, yes, no. But something will ping in your brain to say this, look this up or this is significant in some way. If this was fun for everybody, we might do another one.